Hi, hi. This uh, uh, tutorial, and I, I will will uh, show you how to make a breathing uh, pillar in Blender uh, 2.5. And I got this idea from uh, Indiana Jones movie Temple of Doom. So I spun on it and uh, thought that uh, what if the Temple of Doom was a living, breathing ident identity, uh, like a a, a, pr a person. Uh, so I, I made uh, uh, this in uh, Blender. Uh, so I hope you will also make a tutorial on uh, on a special effect that you would like to see in uh, our fa your favorite movie. Uh, that would be great. Okay, let's first take this uh, uh, cube, make it a little bit a little smaller, smaller, and then we hit S and Z to make it bigger. Then we hit zero on the keypad to view it in uh, from the camera, and then you hit Shift F. And scroll on the wheel and left click and then uh, you hit the zero again to get out of it let's just get the and uh, then we can take the light and control D to duplicate it and uh, click right click and then you drag it drag it over and uh, then we we select uh, the cube and hit uh, the tab key and then with the selected you hit A to select or deselect you hit then uh, control E and you subdivide 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 and then you okay we take one more time subdivide and then you go out of it by hitting the tab key again and then you go to uh, the object data of uh, the pillar you go down and you see shape keys first you hit plus then the basis uh, of the shape key comes and then you hit plus again and then you get a slider that you can change or regulate the the visual of the effect that we will put onto it so you hit uh, the tab key and then you click on a point and you hit the uh, enable the proportional modeling and then you scroll use the scroll wheel as you uh, to show the influence or make the influence of the point And then you hit the tab key when you finished and then you can slide this slider and you can see that it reveals the editing and then it goes back to the basis key above and then we go to the texture and uh, we uh, and the type we set to wood and then you can experiment with uh, you can set it to saw And a different uh, thing, and you, and I know it's uh, uh, it's always use the influence of diffuse color, so you uncheck that, and then you go to geometry normals, and take a little bit one fi fifteen, and then you hit uh, F twelve to render. And then you go back to the shape key and set the shape key a little bit higher and then you hit the F12 again and then you can take on uh, uh, shading for uh, smooth hit the render again let's see if we take a modifier on it uh, subdivision surface and then hit render again. Oh, 
going against it more curve like and then you go to uh, uh, the object data and the, on the keyframe you set it first to s and you can set the minimum its original set the range from minimum to zero but you can take it to minus 900 and this way you can implode it but first we uh, we have it on uh, let's set it to point 300 that's it point 300 ah uh, minus of course minus point 300 like that and then you click you right click on uh, the, the slider and set set insert keyframe and then it turns yellow and then you can go to 30 and take it up as much as you want and then you hit you right click and insert keyframe so now when I change the slider between those two keyframes you see the value goes up and down and like not now it's breathing uh, take in and like uh, 32 and then we do not change the slider and then you set insert keyframe and then you go to uh, 60 and take down and we select minus 0.300 and then you right click insert keyframe and then you go to uh, the camera or the render settings and then you set the frame range to 70 and here you, s you saw that it uh, it made it shorter and then you go to uh, play and here you can see it it uh, it looks like it's uh, breathing 